Hello boys and girls, ladies and gents, this is Neil Sargisian from Digi Extreme Shop. Uh, today I'm going to give you a little education and tutorial on internet speeds and how they will affect the quality of your uh, internet streaming on your Digi Extreme, Digi Extreme boxes. So if you come with me, I'll take you over to the drawing board and, and uh, go over some, some speeds and what it means for your box. Uh, the internet speed is the number one determining factor, determining just how well your internet uh, or your streaming ability uh, will go on your, on your boxes. Uh, so first let's talk about how to determine what kind of speeds you got going to your box. What you're going to want to do is a speed test on the Android TV box. It's important that you do the test on your Android TV box because if you do it on any other device, by the way you hit set up on your remote, just go over, to, uh, net, go over to network, make sure it says connected. Then you want to go to home, go down here to the Okla favorites, and then that's, that's your speed test there. Um, you want to click on the begin test with the cursor. Uh, so that will get you your reading for your, your internet download speeds. Your download speeds are the most important. And as I was saying, you want to do the test on the, the Android TV box because if you do it on any other device, you're going to get different results. And for numerous reasons, it could have to do with um, you know, where you're positioned, how those devices are connected, and then it's also the difference between doing a test on an average $1,000 device, such as a smartphone and home computer, versus a three to $400 device. Um, so let's go over a few things with these internet speeds. Let's first uh, go right down here. Down. Load. Speed. For an optimal experience, you want at least 15 to 20 megabytes per second for anything pre-recorded. And this should stream even high quality, high definition, uh, pre-recorded content just fine. Um, you want at least 15, preferably 20 or better for an optimal experience. Now, it is possible to run, run content on as little as five uh, megabytes per second. But this will, you're probably going to come across some buffering if you if you have only five. Uh, there's workarounds. I mean, you could you could pause it for 10, 15 minutes or so, maybe longer, however long it's needed to let the buffering catch up. And then by the time you hit play, hopefully that will have given it enough time to, to allow it to, to catch up. Uh, you could also find a, a lower quality stream. Uh, we list in most cases we list all the streams as in highest quality to lowest quality. And that uh, will come in handy if you are dealing with uh, lower internet speeds. Maybe that's all you could get in your area. But I would not, you know, you could still find value in it if you've got as little as five megs. But it's, it's, you're just going to have to do some workarounds. Uh, for an optimal experience for live streaming, you're going to want at least 28 or better megabytes per second for live. And this here will say pre-recorded. Okay, hopefully you can read that there. Um, yeah, your box is going to need to work the strong, the, the hardest whenever it's doing a live uh, stream. So for that reason, we recommend having at least 28 megabytes for live content. Uh, now you're always going to be better off if you connect this through an Ethernet versus Wi-Fi. Uh, that's because uh, you know, you're hardwired in and you're not, you don't have to share any of your, your Wi-Fi juice with people in your neighborhood or your other devices when you hook it up that way. Uh, so if, um, always go the Ethernet route if you don't mind it or if it's possible, uh, but these boxes are made and designed well. We could work off of Wi-Fi as well. Um, just to recap, you want to make sure that you're getting these readings on the Android TV box. Uh, don't just pay attention to what you're paying for because it's very common that uh, are we, we determine that our customers aren't getting uh, what they're paying for from their internet company in many cases until they had to call and complain and say, hey, you know, I just did, done a speed test. Why, why am I paying for this and only getting this? 
they'll either come out and you know bring you a new modem, or maybe they'll do something on their end. But they could, uh, in most cases, always improve it and fix it on their end, uh, usually without you having to pay more. Um, or you may want to uh, consider upgrading your internet uh, download speed. So um, hopefully that has been helpful. And uh, I can tell you this uh, this alone uh, is uh, will solve many of your your issues and problems um, because it's almost. You know, anytime you're having streaming issues with our DigiExtreme boxes, it's almost always related to the internet download speed. And this will help you determine um, if that's the issue. Uh, again, my name is Neil Sargisian with DigiExtreme Shop. If you have more questions, feel free to give us a call at 1 800 337 4077 or visit our website, AndroidMovieBox.com. It's just an easier way to remember DigiExtremeShop.com. So uh, thank you for your time and uh, happy streaming.